Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, another user request, trying to figure out how much time is highlighted within a range. YouTube is full of all kinds of great information for anybody who's trying to do anything. But when we're working in the audio world, there's a few channels that come to mind. One is produced like a pro with Warren Hewitt. In some of his videos, he shows how in Pro Tools, you're able to select a certain area and find out how long that area is. You can do the same thing in Studio One. So this will be a good video for those coming from Pro Tools trying to find this little feature. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look. So here we are inside of our session. And if we're trying to find the length between a few notes in an audio waveform, it's pretty easy. We're gonna take these snaps right here in yellow. And I wanna find the length between each one of these snaps. Starting off, I'm actually gonna take off snap to grid, which is N on your keyboard. Now, for the sake of everyone, I'm gonna close the mixer and I'm gonna make these tracks real big so we can see what's going on. And I'm even gonna zoom in just a little bit more. So with our smart tool or with our range tool, we can go from the start of this note and drag all the way over to the second note. And I'm gonna keep holding onto the mouse because you can see right here where the mouse is highlighted, there is a dialog box and it tells us where we start, where we stop and their length. But if you didn't know to look at this and you just made your selection and you let go, there is another way to find out. What you'll have to do is come down to your transport bar and depending on the time scale you're looking for, you'll have to change your main counter. Right now I have it set to bars. And to find the length, I can come hover over here. This is telling us the length of our loop. So I hit Shift and P on my keyboard to make a loop out of my selection with the range tool here. Now, if I come down and hover over these start and end numbers, it will pop up with a dialog box of the loop length. And it's gonna be set to the time base of your main counter. So if I change this back over to seconds, it will tell me how many milliseconds it is, where it's 452 in this case. And this is the same for whatever time base you're going to use. If you wanna know how many samples it is, just hit sample, come back, hover over, and there's your length, 1700 samples. And the same goes for frames as well. It tells you how many frames you have selected if you're trying to sync with video. If you're just starting out, this can be a really helpful trick if you're trying to find maybe the release time of a compressor for some of your drums. Let's go there right now and we'll find our kick track and we'll do the same thing from the start of one note to the start of another is giving us a length. We're still in frames. <laughs> It's giving us a length of 452 milliseconds. That's what the last few numbers in that dialog box are. Those are milliseconds. You do have to watch out because I just made this mistake. This area here will tell you the length of the loop you have selected. So you need to find your area, make your selection, and then hit Shift and P on your keyboard to then go hover and it'll tell you what your selection is. If I wanted to do these few notes here, Shift and P, I've set my loop, and now I know the total length of this loop. It is a little bit of a workaround, but with some repetition, it'll become pretty handy for you. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timplansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment, and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.